This week, Ellie creates more decorative pallet shelves, we mud and trim my earth bag bedroom, and Garen and Ellie put the final touches on their newly installed floor in their great room. Okay, so we took all this trim off before we painted the walls and we had to take it off to get the new flooring in. I'm gonna kind of clean it up and then repaint it and put a nice fresh coat on and then we'll put it back on the walls. <laughs> it's gonna look good. Got a little bit of new trim too. There was some original mobile trim in there. We figured we'd just replace it with all this stuff seeing as it's not super expensive. Plus, I may have broke a couple pieces holding the other ones up. Yeah. But yeah, we don't wanna talk about that. Uh-oh. Watch your toes. Woo, you got a lot of trim. Looks good. Oh, I'm sorry, it took yours. No, no, good. I can move over to this one. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> typical. Cool. Maybe you're typical a lot. Maybe you still have a little bit of this one. That could be. I'm so excited to get this like in and set against that floor and Yeah, got a lot of little steps. It really trims it out. <laughs> yeah, just trims it out. And I'm getting paint on my favorite shirt. Throw it away. It's garbage. Oh. 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 It's everywhere. Oops. In the background for the last few months, Mom and I have been getting in my room and remudding it with the sheetrock mud mm -hmm. that we like to do in water. The stucco that we had in there originally was the very first stucco we'd ever done. At the time, we thought we had done a fantastic job, but as the years have gone by, it's just collected a lot of dust, and I've also, we've been filling in major dents as best we can. What's happening, guys? We are mudding my room. You can see this is our first ever stucco job, and I remember we did this with like lime and stuff. We were experimenting with our first chunk. Anyway, it was put up to the very best of our abilities, but I've noticed over time a little too much texture there. So we're going through with our sheetrocking mud method that we love. We are smearing the sheetrock over it, and then mom comes behind with a wet paintbrush and smooths it over. It'll create a really nice, easy to paint, easy to clean surface. You can tell we've done quite a bit. We have a lot of the white is on there. We're over halfway there, wouldn't you say, mom? Yeah. Yeah. Now so this method, close. if you remember, we learned this method from Shay's room. That's how we're going back through now and that'll be fun to make breeze walls look all smooth like a cloud. Here, do it again. I'll catch no, on camera. I don't think so. <laughs> this trim looks good. We decided not to paint the new stuff because we bought painted stuff. How I, efficient is that? Very efficient. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was buying primed when I bought it. Okay, let this stuff dry, and then... Put it on the walls. Nice! You ready, Azalea? It's all dry and ready for us. Let's take it in, huh? Without scratching it, preferably. We can always touch it. Huh, Azalea? Yeah, you're so excited today. You label all this stuff, right? That's a pretty big puzzle. Well, I started to label it, and then I remember you saying, nah. Did I say that? We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know that I said that. That doesn't sound like me at all. Where does this long one go? Over there, I think. Gray wall. The, the master bedroom wall I labeled. Okay, right. have no fear. I know what I'm doing. And we just set it there, right? That way when we sweep, we can remove them? Yeah. Should we go to this edge, probably? Yeah. Door trim going in. That makes it look so much cleaner. Yeah, it does. Beautiful, babe. I bet if I put it in the crack, is that how you hide them better? 
or is it better to put it on the flat face and then fill them, sand them? These are things I do not know. I think with enough paint you can cover anything. <laughs> When we do the first coat, we get these cracks because we're filling in a lot. Yeah. Say there's a big dent here, that's gonna be a few inches of mud, you know? You get that, it, it's just inevitable. It's gonna crack. But that's okay because with this particular stuff and the way we do it, everything was cracked just like this wall is. And you can't tell on the rest of the stuff because you just fill them right in and you wipe them away and then you hit them with some water and no one is the wiser. We really like the lightweight sheetrock mud, don't we, Brie? We really do. It's the easiest to work with. It's light in your hand. It goes on really easy. It's stickier, I feel like, too. When you're doing such big gaps sometimes, like if you were doing this with our cob and stuff, there's no way it would work very well. It would collapse in on itself. It's too heavy of material. And the lighter stuff, you don't have to wait a day. We can just even when it's thick. So we like the light stuff for that reason. The trim's going in right here. It's this little corner piece. There it nice. is. All done with the trim. Looks so good. Yeah. My parents came down to see what we'd done to the place and see Azalea and stuff. It was really fun to show them. Um, just kind of the little touches we've done to make it our own and kind of show them our vision. It wasn't quite done yet. They helped us get the kitchen in. Um, and get the cabinets in. My mom was in there cleaning and dad was playing with the baby. And it was really fun to show them what we're doing with where they raised all of us. <laughs> Hey dad, what you up to? Getting the wood ready for the breeze room. Fish up that ceiling. Oh, the ceiling? Yeah. Okay. I got the trim all set up and ready to take over, so. And then I'll cut it and put it in. Our pallet pile. Yeah, the pallet pile. Used to be bigger, but it is smaller. Boop. We don't need that piece anyway. Dad has agreed to get in there with Bri, trimming out two of the windows. Yeah, I think when we first originally put it together, we were going minimal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't put any trim around the windows or the door, so I spent some time doing that. We chose not to trim out two of the four windows mm -hmm. because the stucco and the way the building is designed would have made it really difficult. Yeah, the bag kind of rolled into the window, <laughs> into these sections where there's no way to even get trim in uh -huh. unless I cut out all the bags to, and stuff. Oh my, we that'd be a big there. task. So we're gonna leave two of those untrimmed and then trim the two back windows. All right, we're here in Bree's room. First one going up. How do you feel? It makes me feel like we should have done this when we built this building. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have gotten on this earlier. That's okay. We have that top saw in here, which may or may not be a good idea. I think it's a great idea because it's five million degrees outside. Right outside. <laughs> so, well, yeah. and the other thing is it's not like this floor is... Uh, oh yeah, one window complete. All right. <sighs> Doing the trim with the stucco didn't work out so well. It chipped off, as well as the door did lots of chipping because a door is going to close and open and that jars the stucco off. Do I need to make an adjustment? Oh. Anything will fit if you get in a big enough run at it. My grandpa always says. Last melon. Very nicely done. Sweet. All right, it's in. I'm building some more 
pallet board picture frame thingies. So I'm gonna have two on either side of a kind of bigger family picture. So these ones are gonna have two shelves, kind of like this. Probably want the top shelf around right there. That looks right, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. And this one will be the bottom actually too. These two are already sanded because I stole them from our van pile. But I'm gonna go ahead and quick sand these ones real fast so that they're ready to go. We got our saw set up over there on the porch, so I'm gonna carry this stuff over there. You want to cut them, huh? Yeah. What our thought is on putting these together, this is the back side of the shelf. One of the shelves sits here, one of the shelves sits here, so we're gonna put our backing pieces right over the top of that, and then we'll glue and just nail the backing plates in, and then we'll screw the shelves in from the back. Be really strong that way. Sounds brilliant. Shelfine. When we first built the building, we discovered when we were trying to heat and cool it that it was a little bit difficult. And we're like, it's found that a lot of our temperature was escaping through the roof. Mm -hmm. So I believe it was mom and I, maybe one of the guys, put insulation and then pallets. I think we ran out of pallets or something, I can't remember. But you know, when you stop a project, you don't end up going back to back it to if it. you don't finish it. And then right along here, we got this one we gotta put up, it goes up to the peak. I think the plan is to use kind of a whitewash type of paint. Maybe a little more antique and less rustic. Yeah, and lighten it up in there a little yes. bit more, I think, having those light colors. Although I love the wood, so I'm hoping to have the wood grain and the whitewash on top. We'll see how that goes. If you've tried whitewashing pallets or boards and you have a wonderful mixture, please feel free to post it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. It's white stain, really, is what we're looking for, kind of, with paint. <laughs> I am putting together the stairs here. We got kind of this front face that we wanted to be a different color from the floor. So we decided to do it out of pallets and I think it's gonna look pretty good. Yeah, it's looking really good but so far. So you're doing the face and pallets and then the laminate on the top of the stairs. Yep, I think that's the plan. Everything done as far as work that needed to be done with the floor, the trim, the walls. So now it's time we're gonna start moving some furniture in. We made some pallet stuff for the walls that we're gonna be hanging up to. It's gonna look really good, I think. Kinda of make it feel homey. <laughs> yeah. You can help him, Zelia. You wanna help him? We got it. Good job. We've kind of waited on moving into the mobile because my family stuff was still here. We were just now finishing up and able to come into the mobile part of the house and change it to what we want and move into it more with our own stuff. Yeah, a lot of it was done, you know, 10, 15 years ago and was nice then, but now it's been lived in. It's ready to get updated and just fixed up again. Yeah, yeah, those carpets have been here a long time. <laughs> I am super excited, just love the walls. I love that it's like a soft cloud in there. Mm -hmm. um, I think You can brush up against it without leaving half your skin. <laughs> the finish is pleasant to look at and it's gonna be nice to maintain yeah. in the future. Have so. you thought of a color? I think I'm gonna do like a nice blue Ooh, color blue. in there. I know I had blue in there before, but I'm gonna do maybe a little lighter one, so. I built another one of these pallet board shelves. It's a little longer than the one we made for in the den. I'm gonna add these corrugated metal hearts that I cut out, just kind of sporadically across there. You can see I already put one on there, but I'm gonna find places for these ones too. I'm thinking one right here. That 
one looks a little rough. love the way this floor turned out, the walls, all the furniture and the pallet art that's going in. Obviously there's still a little more to go in um, as we collect it slowly, but for right now I, I absolutely love it. It just turned out so good. It's so cozy in here with our little sitting area and I love our little dining table over by the window and it's just, it just feels so cozy in here. And it really does. <laughs> it's really fun. Last week we did not have a weekly peak. We did put out a little notice, a couple of them, but you might have missed that. My grandfather, my mom's dad passed away. We spent time up with family that week. Mom is up there with her mom and she's probably gonna be there for a little while. But I just wanted to say how grateful and thankful we are for all of the wonderful love that you sent our way. We really love appreciate all of those. And support, mm, really. Everything that you said really is nice. just so sweet and we want to thank you so much for supporting us and praying for us through this period of time for our family. Fun fact for you, gypsum is actually an ore and you mine it out. And Ooh. gypsum is made into sheetrock. And we used a lot of sheetrock mud this week. So the natural next step for my little homestead is to make this week's t-shirt design, you rock. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, or any of the other products that we have in the store, along with all of the other designs that we've done in the past, you'll find the link down in the description. Thank you so much for being a part of our family. And we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Rock like an Egyptian. <laughs> A rock like an Egyptian. <laughs>melon of the pie, puzzle of the pie, pala pala puzzle, melon puzzle. Wow, it looks really nice when it's all trimmed in like that. You'd either take wall with you or skin with the wall. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. And everything is complete. How does that make you feel? Good. Perfect.